This is an amp uh, I recently picked up off of Craigslist. Uh, missing an output transformer and a few other uh, bits. The box was pretty trashed and I wanted to show uh, the process of uh, redoing it top to bottom. And uh, basically uh, because the amp was missing a bunch of parts uh, decided to put it together the way I wanted. Uh, changed all the filter caps but I've gone to much lower filtering than the factory specs and that's on purpose because I want more of a tweed type sound out of this amp and uh, people occasionally email me and ask me what difference does filtering make and uh, this should give you a, a good illustration. Uh, the other thing I did with this amp I used a much larger output transformer that would then would normally come in stock in these. Uh, I like that sound it's a little more of a Stevie Ray type of a uh, a sound so to speak where it's got more punch in the bottom and I uh, the amp was pre-drilled for an effects loop which I wasn't going to use and uh, so I made a 4, 8 and 16 ohm tap and because the output transformer is so massive I have no fear of mismatching the impedance however I want to try and get different sounds so that was the whole point of doing this amp this way uh, otherwise most of the stuff you see in the amp that has been changed is the typical stuff I do to these just to dial it in so that it works the way I want it to. Let's give it a quick listen. This is an underfiltered amp. That's one. And here's the changed bright switch. That was 10. And we're going to change the impedance now. cutting as some of the other amps for two reasons uh, the coupling cap up front actually restricts a little bit of gain uh, being a smaller coupling cap and uh, the lower amount of filtering allows it to throw a little less wattage at you which is actually cool because um, uh, you know then you don't need to attenuate the amp it definitely has a raw sound. That's three. 